So I've tried rainwater, which I think rainwater does help lower pH, but I am gonna try this stuff. So I saw peat moss at the uh, local big box store and unfortunately it had fertilizer mixed in. So definitely not using that. So I read that even this uh, sphagnum moss uh, wrapped up in a nylon and added right into the tank or to the filter can lower pH. So I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting, we'll see. So I'm just going to wet this stuff down and put it in the nylon and see what happens. Okay, so this brown blob is the sphagnum moss in a nylon. So it didn't use that much of the package, thankfully, it's about eight bucks. So I wanna see if that will lower pH in the tank. But this is uh, just sphagnum moss. I looked at peat moss at the big box store and it was mixed with fertilizer. So that was definitely a no-go. But I did read that sphagnum moss can also lower pH. So this just comes right out of Wisconsin. So it's local. And we will see if this, this amount right here added to the aquarium will lower the pH. There is the bag of sphagnum moss. It is just sitting right there, right by the little waterfall that comes off the filter. So I'm just gonna let it lay at the top there. It just floats. I don't know if it's gonna sink or not. I've never used this before. We'll see. I really do not think that the alligator satin trolls are gonna bother that bag whatsoever. They stay on the ground, first of all, and I just do not think they're gonna bother that. So I'll watch it closely though, we'll see.